Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffed up the Madden cheese as always. Uh, got another full breakdown scheme for you guys on Saturdays. I like to try to put out uh, at length schemes at times because I know people got more time. They're at home. Uh, they're probably playing weekend league or whatever, and they might have a little more time to uh, to watch a, a longer video. Uh, so typically, when I put out videos, I put a lot of extra plays on my Patreon or on my uh, you know on my uh, Join Now community tab uh, for people that hit the Join button. But also I ask you guys uh, if you want to see the full versions on YouTube to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section that you guys did that. So I'm going to bring you guys a uh, full breakdown, a full uh, scheme, uh, a lot like I put on. Well, this is technically from my Patreon and from my Join Now community tab. Uh, but it's a full scheme from what I think is one of the most explosive, uh, you know, passing and running formations in the entire game, the Pistol Bunch TE. I don't care if you're a passing player or a running player, you can use this scheme and you're going to have explosive plays either way. I'll also put a link in the description for a gameplay that I just put out last week using these plays. Uh, I mean, it was, like I said, the, these plays bailed me out of a very tough game against a very tough opponent and a very tough defense. If you go back to like Madden 15, 16, maybe 17, the halfback zone and the strong power were complete cheat code running plays that once again were nerfed to hell in my opinion uh, to the point where they really weren't usable. For whatever reason, they're also back in a big way. I think in general, uh, you know, toss plays, anything with pulling linemen, the second they came out with pin and pull guru, it seemed like they just made like, you know, the linemen's ability to, to target their blocks just terrible. Uh, and I feel like that was last year. This year, I feel like for whatever reason, you don't need pin and pull guru anymore. Last year, you need that. Now, I feel like it works really well as is. Uh, so, like I said, the two run plays, I'm going to show them both. I'm going to show you guys the reads you need to make. I mean, they have a couple other ones to counter, stuff like that. But I'm going to show you guys. I'll put them all in my audibles. The counter, the zone. Uh, and then, like I said, the strong power is definitely my favorite now. And then the last one, I guess, we'll just make the draw play. But I'll show you guys the reads you need to make to run these plays uh, successfully. Because this is actually going to be one of the better running schemes in the game. If you go back to uh, Madden, like I said, I don't remember if it was 16 or 17 or what, but you could also replace these guys with tight ends, which was also a very popular uh, cheat to do. Uh, if you want some extra blocking, you could do that. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. I don't find it necessary. I feel like the receivers do just fine, and I don't like to have to switch them out when I'm running an entire scheme, so I'm going to run it with receivers because the passing plays are going to be kind of dependent on that. So we'll go ahead and pick the halfback zone. On the defensive side, we're going to match. We're going to go with random nickel because this is a three wide receiver set, so we'll go ahead and pick that. Before I get into this video, as always, I just want to let you guys know if you need coins, with all these promos dropping, all these holiday promos coming out, make sure to check out my coin sponsor, moxp.com. Uh, link in the description below. You get 5% off if you discount code MONEYSHOT. And you support the channel every time you use it. So, like I said, I appreciate all you guys are doing for me. You guys have been showing me a lot of love and support. Uh, and if you want to do it through buying coins through my sponsor, that really helps me out as well. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the reads. Um, now, this, for, you know, the first play I can tell the biggest gap Typically, you're just looking for gaps. If you have a big gap like you do here, a wide alignment like this, the halfback draw is going to probably make the most sense. You do have a good straight-ahead run in this particular formation. I'm not sure if in other playbooks you do, but I know in this particular formation you have that. Now, this formation is a little bit more stacked to the middle based off the fact that you have that 3 3 5 look. I would say the strong power, like I said, I'm always going to be looking for opportunities to run this strong power, but you do have uh, a couple of good options when it comes to the halfback zone. This is a play I was, I was never really capable of running the halfback zone it's something that i'm not very good at running the power though i absolutely love uh if it's a zone coverage i typically flip it if it's a man coverage i typically run to the open side it's really that simple and you're really just watching is there a cornerback on the right side i mean he's playing way off so you could run it in that direction but i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna flip it every time that i have a zone play and then you can see how the blocking is just phenomenal this year which like i said that was kind of the thing in the past it was really overpowered in the past and it feels that way again so i mean you have your traditional looking for the gaps i would say these three plays here the draw the zone and the counter are all plays where you're really just looking for gaps like the draw right here i could take that right up the middle because that's where my biggest gap is and i actually like that you get a little bit of a hesitation before the handoff because you can see it actually helps the block set up the only play, in my opinion, is different than looking for gaps. It's just a straight man or zone read, and that's the halfback power. If I have a zone, I'm going to go left. If I have a man, I'm going to go right. It's that simple. Here, though, it looks like we have a much bigger gap to the counter, so we're just going to go ahead and hit that. I'll go to the practice to show you guys how to read counterplays. There is a read you have to make when it comes to counterplays. I try to go over it in every video that I, that I 
you know, basically talk about a counterplay. But like I said, you always want this guy out wide. That's important to have that gap between him and the defensive tackle. And then it's really a simple read of one guy. You're reading this one guy. If he crashes in, he's aggressive like he is here. You can't go outside. You got to go inside behind your pulling blocker. This guy here, he's going to come out. He's going to he's gonna stick him. I guess, I guess I had the wrong guy. Whoever the pulling blocker is, I guess it's the tackle. My bad. So The guard, my bad. So, yeah, the guard's going to come across. I thought I was on him. He's going to stick him. You got to go inside. It doesn't even have to be a great block. You just have to go inside of it because he's going to shield you from that defender. There's going to be animations as well where this guy just kind of stands around and waits. He'll just stop right here, and he'll, become, he'll basically start reading. If he does that, if he slows down, if he hesitates, you have to take this run outside of him because at that point this blocker is going to come across he's going to stick him right there and then you take it outside that's just that's just really all there is to it if you make that read correctly you will have a successful run every time I really feel if you have a stack box like this too, or you have a lot of blitzing, the strong power is going to be huge. It just lets the blitzers through, and by the time they come in, you're pretty much gone. So this is something that if you have a lot of heavy man blitzers and stuff like that, this is going to eat them up. And then, I mean, here's a good opportunity for that zone, flipping it to the weak side. Like I said, I could have ran counter there, but you can see there's definitely some easy reads when you're looking for space. Uh, this is a really easy formation to run, and it's a really good running formation. It's definitely back in a big way. So here's another opportunity. Here we're going to go power. Like I said, I'm going to go zone side. Let these guys, they're going to stack the box. I'll let them in. Look how that hole opens up right over the middle. I mean, there's just nothing but running space. This is one of the most wide open running uh, schemes in the game. Uh, but let's go and let's move on to some of the pass plays. we got three pass plays. Like I said, the verticals, I'll start off with that. This is one of the most broken pass plays in the game last year. And without a doubt, I mean, it's one of my most used plays of all time. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go coverage to coverage. We're going to start off with a cover two and work our way back. This play here, this is pretty good as is. I mean, a lot of times I just like to streak the tight end. The running back is a really good check down. Uh, and it's going to be important when it comes to cover too because that's really what gets this guy open underneath here uh, once that cornerback drops down on the running back. So against cover two, you pretty much want to make that read. I don't even have to streak. Against cover two, I don't have to streak the Y route. That's probably best to leave him there because that's going to pull that safety in a little bit. And then you can easily get some one-play touchdowns out of this if you're running it to the open side of the field, which I'm currently not. So Now, this play doesn't work against cover three the same way it did last year. Um, last year, all you really had to do was put these guys on a streak once again. Uh, you can still have success, though. If you motion out Kamara and put him on a streak and then you also have to have essentially uh was it hot route master or whatever uh your superstar ability on a receiver because you need the corner route so if i put the outside receiver on a corner route and then smart route him this play can still have success but if you don't have that ability it's not going to work out but you can see right here um, it creates the same opening i don't have to be all the way to the side of the field like i am but you can do that if you have a receiver that has that ability and i know a lot of people have that ability so this play can uh, home run cover three um, like it used to but uh, it just takes a little bit uh, it takes a little bit more than adjustments you can make um, you know without superstar abilities but you can still get home runs it's still a good play against cover three if you have that now against a defense like cover four quarters you can have that same success you just have to motion out the running back the same way you did against cover three put the x route on a zig and that's just going to create an, an ungodly type of creation or space right through the middle which is something that i do quite a bit cover four quarters cover six cover um cover nine anything where there's a where half the field's a cover four quarters this play will work just like this um you just need to split the field you just have to have streaks on the one side and then like i said that zig route is enough to just make that outside cornerback uh, basically glitch out or you know not really glitch out but just slow down enough that you just have to bomb it up so if you get a look like that this is a really good play like i said that's any look where you have like your cover four palms um any any defensive look where like cover six half of the cover six is a cover four quarter so you basically just have to identify which half of the field that is and you're going to glitch it out although obviously it works against cover two as well which is the other half of the cover six now that's not necessarily the best play against man although you do have uh, uh, the running back the running back's a great play against man that's probably the best read when it comes to that i'm going to say the best man beating play uh, is going to be without you know without doubt the cross drag for one but there's also really going in the fake screen we'll start off with the fake screen so this is definitely one of the better uh man beating plays 
Uh, all I'm really going to do is put the X around the streak, especially if it's like uh, man cover two, which is typically what you're going to see. That's just going to pull the safety back. I'm really going at the other routes anyway. Um, you could also put them on a drag, which isn't going to, you know, I could put the A route on a streak. And, you know, there's a couple different things you can do. But I'm really looking at this B route. This B route is one of the better man beating routes that you're going to find, especially in this formation. You don't have to make any adjustments for that particular route. I just like to make adjustments around it. But you can see once he slingshots around like that, he's going to beat whoever's covering him. And right now it's a linebacker, which a lot of times you'll see because of where he is on the field, because of the spacing, the separation, the the the, the way the defense sets up. I'm matching in personnel, but you have a cornerback on the right side. A lot of times you're not going to see a cornerback on uh, that on that side. It would typically be manned by a linebacker. But even if it's not, it's still going to beat that. It really doesn't matter. So I went ahead, went ahead and I switched over to a dime look just so you can see that it really doesn't matter. It's still going to make the same uh, type of break and still have the same success. Uh, but like I said, dragging the X route's good. I mean, obviously, I'll give you a check down. And then here we have that route one more time. Like I said, it doesn't matter if he's in a, against a cornerback, a linebacker. It doesn't matter. That's a really good man-beating play. And it's so quick, and since it breaks outside first... Your user's never going to really see that coming. It's just something that will always catch them off guard. I also like this drag. Like I said, that drag is going to be really good. A lot of times the user will chase that across, leaving the middle of the field even more wide open. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish this particular video off with the cross drag. This is obviously a really good uh, man coverage play again. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pick random. Now, for me, I like to run this guy. I like to motion this guy across. There's a couple different ways you can run it. I also like to streak the A route sometimes, although it's not a bad idea just to uh, leave it as is. Like I said, I like to motion him across because I think it's just better timing between the X route and the Y route. Then I'm going to go ahead and block the running back because he's not really doing a ton. But all these crossing routes, I mean, you can see how against man coverage it's going to be a complete uh, destroyer based off the fact that we have all these crossing routes. But it's not just going to do that against man coverage. So like I said, I like to streak the A route. Sometimes I even like to streak the uh, you know, the X route too, but that doesn't really matter. I think that the two main routes are going to be the Y route and the B route. And then you can see right here, this guy just comes open right across from that. So really easy read. Like I said, sometimes if you want to put the, uh, the running back out like you've been in the past, put him on a slant. I mean, I wish I could put him on... Uh, a similar route um, that the uh, the Y route is on, uh, but then, like I said, now you have you know you have you guys pulling back, and then you have uh, multiple options uh, to really come open underneath. But this is really the money play right here. This is the guy that's going to be open the most, and then the drag underneath him is typically just going to be the check down. But those are pretty much your pretty much your reads. Like I said, I like having that. I like having somebody pulling back, but I mean, there's multiple ways to do this. You can see we're having a lot of success, no matter who we do. We're just reading high low. Like which one comes open first? A lot of times. And if you leave it like this too, I mean, this is a really tough play to stop too. You can see here the tight ends coming open on the other side. There's so many different ways to run this because of the way that these these packed receivers are in tight and crossing, and it's just really a really difficult play for just about anybody to stop. It's not something that you're going to see uh, to the point where it's going to be, you know, I don't think there's a ton of one-play touchdowns to be had out of this, although you can see we're definitely getting some very explosive plays with this particular route, but it's definitely one of the harder to stop plays. You can definitely get some huge chunk plays as well. So I'm going to do this one more time. Like I said, I also like the motion of running back out. Uh, I feel like you can do this and have the same effect with those deeper receivers. The tight end obviously is a weapon as well. Although here you can see I had to wait a little bit longer than I want to. I didn't really get the catch and run that I typically get. But you can mirror that original play. You can mirror that original look with the uh, you know with the verticals play doing that. So another really good cover two play is the stick. We're going to pick that. And then we'll just keep going with the, uh, with the cover two zone here. Because this is really just a cover two play. So against cover two, all you really have to do is streak the B route, streak the A route, then streak the running back once again to put him to the line. That's going to be one way to do it. Uh, and then essentially, you know, you're spreading this defense so much that, I mean, the B route's going to have success over the middle. Uh, you can have success with the outside route as well. For the outside route, all you really need to do uh, is motion him out. You can't motion out both him and the running back, but you can motion him out. He'll get outside of that coverage or the B route once again, and you're still going to have success with that. Basically, you're putting that middle, that, that deep half safety into a quandary between those two routes. Now, since this formation, they kind of nerfed the cover three quality of verticals, you, all, you do have another really good cover three play, and that's the spot option. So we're going to go, we're going to pick that. Then we'll just pick specifically cover three here, the cover three sky. So like I said, since the other play doesn't work, 
for everybody anyway, against cover three. All you have to do, block the running back. I'm sorry, not block the running back. Well, you can block the running back or you can motion him out. It's really up to you. There's two different ways to do this. Uh, you can motion him out. You can streak the A route, and then you can streak the X route. This is one option, uh, but you could also uh, just keep the running back blocking uh, and motion. Just keep him there and motion across the B route. That's something that you could also do. You need to motion somebody across. So this is this is your two options. I'd rather have the blocking back, considering uh, it's going to help out. You could also try to put the Y route here on a smart route, although it's really only going to work if you're at something less than 10 yards, like second and eight, third and six. It'll shorten that route. It'll make this play even more explosive. Uh, but this is really all you need to do. And then you can see once again we have a cover three beater in this scheme, uh, which you know obviously is important. You need that to go with the other the other zones. So like I said, if you want to, you can run it any number of ways. You can mirror the original play by motioning out the running back. You have a pretty good check down here with the B route also. Um, so if you run into trouble, you have that. And then you just have a really explosive uh, one-play touchdown against cover three. Super easy. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see uh, more at length, you know, full scheme videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.